Hey guys, welcome back to Mondays with Miller. And typically we talk about all things real estate, but today we're gonna to talk about bottled water. Bottled water? That's right, we're talking about this new bottle of water called tide water. You see what they do is they wait till the tide comes in, capture that water, and bottle it up. <laughs> no, we're not. We're talking about the VA Home Loan Tide Water Initiative, and that starts right now. Listen. Hey guys, welcome back. My name is John Miller. I'm a realtor here in Louisville, Kentucky at Keller Williams Louisville East, but I'm also a 14 year combat United States Air Force veteran. And I want to thank you for joining me at Mondays with Miller. If this is the first time for you attending Mondays with Miller, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right here. As a matter of fact, I got nothing but time. Did you hit it? If you didn't, we're going to wait. You didn't hit it. I said hit it. Subscribe right there. All right, there you go. Thank you very much. Thank you for subscribing. So what we're going to do now is we're going to talk about the VA Home Loan Tidewater Initiative. We're going to talk about when it started, why it's there, the procedures of the VA Tidewater Initiative, and how is it beneficial to sellers in today's market. So once the appraiser identifies that they're going to come up short on the valuation during the appraisal process, they will initiate Tidewater. And when they do that, they contact the point of contact on the appraisal report, which predominantly is going to be the lender on the buyer's side. Once that lender is notified, he will notify the buyer agent and the listing agent that the appraiser is having issues coming to value. Once that notification is made, all parties have 48 hours to provide any documentation and proof of value to the appraiser as to why the agreed upon sales price is in fact market value. 48 hours, that's what we have, to provide all documentation to the appraiser so that they can make their final determination before they put it on paper as the final notice of value. Once you provide all documentation within that 48 hour period, the appraiser will then go back and verify whether or not his value is correct or if there is any room for improvement to the value he had when he initiated Tidewater. Once that number is established, he will put it in his documentation and will get sent to the lender as notice of value on that property. If in fact it still comes in low, then we have to negotiate or renegotiate the same way we would if it was conventional FHA. However, you also have the opportunity to have the staff appraiser reviewed, commonly known as the SAR. If after the report is finalized and you still feel like you have a case for value, you can submit all that documentation, all the comparables, the exact ones that you sent the appraiser to the SAR, and they have the ability to still raise the price up to 5%, 5%. Big wins for the veteran big wins to the seller because in a market so hot like this where a lot of times two houses over the appraised value is completely different and we don't understand why the VA home loan allows you the seller to have some room to negotiate and work on a process to get that that agreed upon market value sales price that you agreed on with the VA buyer all right guys there you have it there was a quick down and dirty couple minute review of the VA home loan Tidewater initiative we talked about where it came from kind of the flow of, of, of the process, and why is it a benefit to accept a VA home loan and how it's a lever that nobody else has. If you liked it so much, which I absolutely know you did, please go ahead and hit us with a like, drop me a comment in the comment box, and I'd love to have some dialogue with you as to the VA home loan, specifically the VA Tidewater Initiative, or anything else about the VA loan. But as always, guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I know I sat there and asked you to do it earlier, and I know some of you still didn't do it, so I'm gonna go ahead and ask you to do it right here. I think it's right here. If I'm wrong, I apologize. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can be alerted every Monday when we drop new videos. And until then, guys, I hope you have a great week and I'll see you on Monday. <laughs> Apples, oranges, let's get it going. I don't like any of what I just said, so we're gonna scratch it. That'll work.